Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm checking out another Oculus Rift game thingy mob object as I'm gonna go by right now. That's how all the intros are gonna start. <laughs> but anyway, so this game is called Outworld Antera something. It's like an open world thing and at the moment I'm just using the demo type which is kind of free. Um, but if you guys want to check out more because at the end of this like you'll, I'm trying, I'm gonna try and show off as much as I can. But at the end of this um, you'll see like how much is restricted and stuff. Um, but yeah, so link down below if you guys want to just go go right straight away and download it. I can't even speak today, but uh, but yeah. So anyway, to just 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 jump straight in. Oh my god, I cannot actually speak today. Um, but the idea is, it's like an out open world um, alpha. It's in alpha at the moment, obviously. And uh, the way it works is, it's just kind of like, you know, like I say, an open world. I'm not going to explain this stuff. What I'll probably do is, I'll probably like edit in a section now, just like talking about it with some gameplay in the background, and then. I'll just jump ahead. So, uh, enjoy me explaining it in properly, written out, fully, and then I'll see you guys in a second. The Altera engine, anyone pronounces it, is a unique world rendering engine capable of seamlessly rendering whole planets from space down to ground level. It can use real world data to render the planets realistically while also dynamically referring the d refining the data, sorry, using procedural algorithms to provide high ground level data. How am I supposed to remember that? <laughs> yeah, so the uh, the engine provides unlimited visib visibility obstructed only by the planet's curvature with details ranging from thousands of kilometers down to centimeters. So in other words, it's really, 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 really good. Um, yeah. Also for this as well, you've got to have some minimum requirements, obviously, because, you know, it's such an amazing game. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, but it runs on OpenGL 3.3 and it requires recent graphics drivers. The minimum requirements are NVIDIA 8 XXX series or better, or AMD slash ATI 5 XXX or better with recent drivers. Uh, if you want to check the, like all the requirements out, the, obviously the link's in the description again for you to go and check it out. Also 512 megabytes of GPU memory, which is kind of standard really. Uh, but yeah, obviously like I say, if you want to check out more on the game or anything, just check the link down below, as I've said multiple times. Alright, okay, so there you go, that kind of explains what the game is, hopefully I will edit that in, um, I will, I will, um, but yeah, so, um, I'm just gonna jump straight in, but like, it's, it's just so good, I mean, I've just been like, um, I've had to turn like loads of options down just so I can get fraps running with this, uh, not to say I've got like a bad computer specs or anything, but like, um, obviously, like, it doesn't defaultly, um, use fraps, you have to like, do some changes with it, but also to turn some of the quality settings down, but before, this looked really awesome, uh, I'm not saying it changed, just because of my settings. But anyway, I'm gonna um, just jump in <clears throat> straight away and like put us in a car. So like, when you first spawn, you'll like just be this free mode camera. It'll come up with like helps and stuff with loads of commands. It is very loud, I will say. Um, but what you can do is you can press escape, and then I'm going to look up to get to the menu, and I'm gonna go to land, uh, which is F3, I think it is, and then straight away it spawns you inside of a car, which isn't even. Oh god, that's very loud. Okay, <laughs> give me a sec. Alright, okay, that's got that sorted out. Uh, I just have to like reconfigure the thing. Um, but yeah, so now I'm inside of a car. Uh, a car? A truck thing. Look, I'll show you. Press C. Uh, where's the car gone? There's the thing. Hello. I think my uh, center's kind of off a little bit, but uh, that's for me to fix anyway. Um, but you know, you, you can... Obviously, this is a demo, so there's hardly any things that I can use. But um, for me at the moment, there's like a truck, like this. You can, can obviously... Hold on, I'll press escape and show you. But you can... Get what? What's that? I have to close my right eye. Air, water, roads, objects, and env, which is obviously environment. So you can actually, um, what's the word? Like you can, you know, get more stuff. Obviously, like you can't do air and just stuff like that in the demo. You'll obviously have to pay for it. But I mean, if you like truck sims, then obviously you know this is kind of realistic. Um, and the fact that it's Oculus Rift supported as well is amazing. Um, if like straight away as soon as you launch, you won't be able to do it. You have to go into like the options and then graphics and then Oculus Rift Sport. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think it's pretty cool just looking around and just like you know, um, and this stuff. But uh, once you, once you do that, if you want to go, I think it's uh, you press land again and then it goes away. Am I correct? No. Okay, I forgot what the button is. <laughs> Was it E or R? Okay, I'm just gonna mash a load of buttons until something happens. Oh my god, I spawned two trucks. What the hell? Truckception? No, not really. Um, oh my god, what's the button? There's loads of commands coming up. Forward. Oh jeez. 
Alright, I came back in free mode again. There is actually a button to do it, but I actually did forget it, so uh, apologies for that. Um, but yeah, but I mean, you know, it's just kind of like a way just to show off like what you can do at the moment. This also is just optional. You don't have to use Oculus Rift for this. You can obviously just use your normal stuff. But, um, <clears throat> sorry. But, um, I mean, you know, just looking at it, it looks awesome. Like, boom. Oh my god, that was pretty weird. You can just like fly low to the uh, world if you want and just feel weird that you do, you know. <laughs> Any other way, really. But I mean, you know, I, I think there's a lot to, sh um, like the whole, I think the whole map's in the uh, demo. Like, I don't know, I can't really know. But like, as I was saying about the locations, you can obviously jump to different places. I did try and it didn't work, but I will try something else. Something else, sorry. Let's try a temple. Will that load or not? Because I'm in the demo. Um, oh god, what the hell's going on? Oh god. I broke the game. <laughs> okay, I'll jump back. But you know, like I say, it's best to like download these things and try it out for yourselves. Oh shit, that's help. I don't want that. I'm not that troubles. Um, also, as well, it's kind of weird to uh, use this bar in Oculus. Obviously, you have to like look up so that it gets up right in your face. And then that one. And then, no, that one. Yes. Load. No. Yes. There we go. <clears throat> so, as I was saying, like I say, it's best to download it for yourself and try it out. Um, obviously, you know, links in the description if you want to download this. Um, but yeah, like, you know, if you go. Whoa, what the hell was that? Oh my god. What the hell? There's an arrow. Probably can't see that. But if you want me to like check out all the land and air stuff, uh, be sure to say and I can maybe throw some money towards it and uh, obviously unlock it. Uh, but like I say, roads, can I do roads? No, demo road. Oh, god damn it. I think it's only like $15 as well, so that's like 8 quid where I am, so that's not bad. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Short video, obviously. Apologise. Uh, I can make it longer if you want. Like I say, I can do the other, and buy it, and try all the other stuff out if you want. Uh, thanks for watching. Obviously, the links in the description again if you want to go download this. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say I am.